everyone here when I say how. I am so glad you asked. I am going to do a triathlon. A triathlon? Seriously? Yeah, you sound surprised. Oh, I am. I mean, a triathlon's a really big deal. It's, it's like the ultimate in determination. I mean, it takes determination to train for it and to participate and 
Gosh, to finish a triathlon is like a monumental display of ability and will. I mean, you have to finish what you start as a rule for a triathlon. Yeah. All that stuff, sure. So, what's with all this gear that you brought out here? Oh, this is my apple. Your what? My apple. Your apple. My apple, I mean, hello, is there an echo in here? I think there may be a problem here. Oh, no, there's not a problem. I've got a few um, jackets right here and some hats over here, and yep, my apple's all ready to go. I'm ready to do my triathlon. So, so where did you um, hear about this triathlon? Oh, well, what happened was I was up at the office and I heard Mr. Snyder and Mrs. Reinhold and Mrs. Lehman talking. And they were talking about the ultimate kind of determination and they were talking about a triathlon. And I figured, I mean, if those three can do it, I can do it. And so how did you find out what a triathlon is? Oh, well, I did what all good leaders do. I looked at the word and I only knew a little bit of it, but I made the rest up. And so I knew it was a try. So, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mrs. Smith, um, see, because like, you know, there's try, apple on. So I'm thinking like, it's like try your coat on, right? Easy. And so I know what try was. I didn't really know what apple was, but I figured it's probably like an acronym for like some sports equipment or something. Mrs. Smith, triathlon doesn't have anything to do with trying clothes on. Uh-oh. I was a little afraid of that. Um, what about hats? It's hats. Look, watch, watch. I can do this. Mrs. Smith. No, no. It doesn't have anything to do with hats or quick changes. Um, so what is a triathlon? Glad you asked. Here's what you do. First, you swim for 1,500 meters. Then, you ride your bike for 40 kilometers, and then you run for 10 kilometers. What's that in American? Oh, huh. well, okay, you swim about a mile, and then you ride your bike for about 25 miles, and, like the and, 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 then, yeah, and then you run for like six more miles. All right. Um... How many days do they give you to do this? Well, it happens all at once. You do it all in one day. And then they bury you? Uh, no, Mrs. Smith. But it is a great way to show determination. It is the ultimate in determination. You know what? I've even got some pictures. Would you like to see some pictures of some triathlon? I know. Yeah. Well, look up here. Look, see, this is where they're coming out of the water. They've already been swimming for a mile. Wow. Doesn't that look cool? It looks interesting. Um, and here's where they're Whoa. riding their bicycle for like 25 miles. 25 miles? Yeah. yeah. Is he running away from something? No, but they do go fast. Oh. Yeah. And then here's where they're running for that six miles. Oh. After all the other. Oh. Yeah. And you can't give up. You just have to keep up. And look, there they are finishing and winning the triathlon. Doesn't that look awesome? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Smith, look, look, where are you going? I'm really tired after looking at those pictures. I'm just gonna go take a nap. Well, before we go anywhere, I think we should say our definition one more time. Can you do it with me? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Determination, deciding it's worth it to finish what you Started. And now I think it's time for us to find out what's going on at the clubhouse. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Wait right there.
educational experience. But let's face it, you know, people like us, we have to stick together. We're different. You know, we're, we're intended for expertise, you know, that laser focus towards a single goal, not well-rounded living. You have a gym in your house? Two? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, but if you would write a note, then they'll listen to you. And I go, uh-huh. My mom called you? Oh, boy. Yeah, I see. Well, thanks anyway. It was good talking to you. Uh, I'll talk with you later. Yep, bye, Bill. Uh, who's that? Oh, uh, Bill Gates. The Bill Gates? What was he calling you about? Oh, I called him. I'm just trying to get him to write me a note so I don't want to go to gym class. You called Bill Gates mm -hmm. to, to write you a note to get out of gym class. Why would you do that? You never go to gym class. I know, it's great, isn't it? Uh, if you say so. See, I, I have this perfect plan that's been working since third grade. See, first you offer to do some research for the principal, and then you let him know that the best time to do it is during gym class. Voila! No embarrassing being kicked last, no changing your shoes, no bruises from dodgeball. Sam, physical education is part, yeah, yeah, yeah. part of a well-rounded educational experience. I know, I know. It can make you happier and healthier and even think better, too. I think just fine, thank you, and I'm much happier without gym class. Oh, that reminds me, I've, uh, I've got some news for you. Earth's annual field day? Yep. Uh, notice anything about that? Well, of course. Like? Well, clearly, you can't have a first annual if you didn't have one last year. Clearly, the school has made another grammatical error when they're trying to communicate clearly. I didn't have to talk to the school secretary again. No, no, no. Sam, it's announcing a field day for the entire school. It's happening just before we get out for summer. Oh, great. I love field research. I have this kit that you can test fauna and flora. If you no, no, no. It's where we go out and run races together. Oh. And do the long jump. Oh. And throw heavy stuff. No. See ya. It all ends in a 5K fun run at the end. Yes. No. Yes, all of us are doing it. No. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Well, I, I'm just gonna have to have somebody write me. You know, if, if Bill Gates can't do it, then I'm just gonna try Dr. Oz. No, no, no. Give me that. You can't get out of this, Sam. There's no way. The superintendent of the schools is gonna be there and. And she's been asking questions about these notes you've been using to get out of PE. The, the superintendent? How does she know about my notes? She's been approving them since third grade, and she's starting to catch on, I think. Oh, well, I just don't see why we have to do this. I, surely I can get a note. Well, what if I'm sick that day? No, it won't work. It won't work. You can't get out of this. The, the, she actually said that the, you have to finish in the top 50 people in the 5K fun run, or you've got to do gym over again next year. But you can't fail gym class. Well, no one's ever done it before, but like that's ever stopped you. Why is the world so against me? I don't get it. Like, fun? What, why do they call it a fun run? That's like saying, Pleasant pneumonia. <laughs> Sam, everyone's gonna do it. We're all doing this together. It'll be fine. Uh, oh, okay, Cammy. I'm I'm putting myself in your hands. I'm completely trusting the two of you to help me do this. So what do we do first? We train. We train. No! Let's go train.
matter what. I had to train every single day. There was more than one day when I thought about quitting. But today was the best part. All that hard work finally paid off. It was a tough race, but I did what I came to do. I knew I couldn't have done it if I hadn't stuck with it. So, um, how about if I, uh, that's it, I will practice my speech and you can listen to it while you're stretching. Well, well I what now? Uh, well, never mind. You just listen to my speech. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to celebrate a long and storied history of athletic achievement. Perhaps the greatest story ever passed down through the history of field day is the story of the first marathon. The runner, Apodupidopoulos, was trained to carry messages long distances. He traveled from site of a victorious battle in Marathon to his home in Athens to tell everyone they should resist the enemy at all costs. And then he died. Uh, he showed perseverance and determination as he ran through the hot and rocky path. And he died. <clears throat> we are here today to follow in his footsteps, metaphorically, of course. We shall strive. We shall compete. We shall cross the finish line with the good news that we are victorious. And hopefully not die. Seriously, why do people think running is good for you? Are you going to interrupt me and heckle me in my whole speech? Well, no, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, why do we call it a marathon when the first person who did it, like... <laughs> yeah, because he was determined. That is why we celebrate. Celebrate? I, I would much rather celebrate something like, you know, someone finishing a triple scoop of ice cream. Now that I could celebrate. <laughs> Sam, it's time to stretch. Okay. <laughs> huh. What are you doing? Stretching? This is exactly what I do when I'm going to be in front of the computer for hours and hours. Helps keep the digits nimble. Are, are you planning on running the race on your fingers? <laughs> Good point. Get it, get it. I can do that because I have nimble digits. Sam, let's, let's focus here. We're going to touch our toes. Ready? And bend. Come on. Bend. Oh, Sam, bend. I'm, I'm trying. Bend. Ah, ah, bend. Ah. Ah. Oh. 
Did I hear something? What is it? Yeah. That I, what's that's that my, my, what's that, going on? That's my Fitbit telling me that see, my, my blood pressure and my pulse have just skyrocketed. But, what? but we're just stretching. I'm doomed, aren't I? Um, Sam, you have to do this. You don't want to take Jim again next year, do you? Well, no. Okay, well, we got to do this. You are going to start this race, and you are going to get tired, but you are going to keep going. You are going to know that it's worth it, and you are going to finish. I, I will? You will. I will. Uh, we we can't, can't hear you. you. I will. Let's see it. Make us proud. Oh, she's right. She is doomed. I think we can be right back. I couldn't have done, I couldn't have finished. 
like I did, but I couldn't have finished without these two, you know, convincing me to have determination and, and get through. And, and look, I got a medal. It says participant number 50. Thank you, yeah, yeah, I have truly been inspired by her performance. I've seen her and I've seen her work and see what she can do, and I decided I too can think it's worth it and determined to finish what I started. Kids, let's say our big idea together one more time. Determination. Deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. I better go get some ice for uh, Sam's leg over here. We hope you can practice determination all month, and we'll see you at the end of the month. Party. We had lots and lots and lots of box tops turned in the last two months. We have a lot of classes that had well over a hundred box tops turned in for their classroom. But here are our top three places. In third place, with 254 box tops, was Mrs. Musselman's class. Second place, and boy, this this second and first place. Those guys were really having a battle at it. The second place with, with 224, or not 200, 524 box tops was Mrs. Broyette's kindergarten class. And the winner of the pizza party with 549 box tops is Miss Dave's class. For this month, we're in the month already. It is a box top surprise party. So we still are taking them, and we'll be checking them that last week of school, and I'll be getting with the class that has that won the surprise party for this year. And now, this is fun. Thank you so much. That's exciting. Great job on those box tops. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to think real hard. If you heard your name on announcements for being put in the zebra bucket for this last month, I want you to raise your hand. Let's see how many of you are in the bucket. That's a lot of kids. You guys have done a great job. Mr. Snyder, I'm going to wait for you guys to get quiet so I can tell you what our prize will be this month. Mr. Snyder had an awesome idea because it's getting warmer out and it's getting to be that time of year where we have picnics. These 10 kiddos are going to have a picnic at the park with Mr. Snyder and Mrs. Guard next week, okay? Mrs. Dave, Mrs. is going to have us a special lunch and we're going to go to the park and have a picnic, okay? All right. Are you guys ready? Oh, thank you. Are you ready? Yeah! All right. Come on up, Kylie Hazelby.
and Chin was big enough for that. Number nine is Daniela Ochoa. And one more, I'm digging deep for this one. I'm going down deep, going down deep. One more. Josh Cypher. determination next month and I want to see lots of names in this bucket for our last week or so. Okay boys and girls, can you give all these kids a big this class? I kept going. I was determined to see it through. 